I've always said that I would be screaming on the rooftops, but we're not. It's, it's sad. The man arrested in connection to the Delphi murders is in jail without bond. This morning, we're hearing from the grandparents of Libby German. She and her friend Abby Williams were murdered in Delphi back in 2017. Our Lindsay Stone joining us live in studio with more on the emotion the family says they are going through and what comes next in this investigation. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning to you, Angela and Daniel. Now, Richard Allen was not a stranger to this community. Information uncovered by our Russ McQuaid from sources with knowledge of the investigation found he even came forward in the early days of the investigation as a witness from the Monon High Bridge the day Abby and Libby were killed in February of 2017. Now, at the time, any inquiry did not reveal the need for further investigation. However, his name surfaced again recently. A search warrant was issued at his house two weeks ago and revealed evidence reportedly linking him to the deaths. He was arrested last Wednesday, his initial hearing Friday. Now, the PC and charging information are sealed at this time and will be argued for an unseal at a future date. And we spoke to the girls' families after the charges were announced. Take a listen. It's uh, somewhat bittersweet, you know, knowing that uh, while it allows us to move to the next turn or the next chapter, um, we still got a big, we, now we got a big mountain ahead of us, and, and we're going to stay after it. I've never given, we haven't ever given up, and, and you guys haven't given up on us, and we're going to keep pushing uh, all the way. You just heard from Mike, who is Libby's grandfather, and when we asked him about what he would like to say to Alan, he told us he's going to save that for when he sees him face to face. It appears the first time for that will be at Alan's next scheduled court date in January. His trial was scheduled for March of next year. The family, police, and prosecutors say they are now focused on securing a conviction. Now, police made it very clear this is still an active investigation, so they are asking anyone with information on this case or Richard Allen to call that hotline number. We'll give it to you now, 765-822-3535. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News.